It's time for Word on the Street with JC. All right, y'all ready for some Word on the Street? Yeah. I like to yeah. start it off by saying rest in peace. I know y'all getting tired of hearing it, but yeah. Um, we just lost another favorite, um, Dustin Neil Diamond, who went by Screech on Say by the Bell. Mm. He passed away after battling stage four cancer. So I like to say rest in peace to him. Um also um I would like to proudly say that Black Lives Matter is up for a 2021 Nobel Peace Prize for a powerful impact that they uh, displayed for equality, solidarity, and human rights. So that's a big honor for us since a lot of people didn't want to acknowledge uh, Black Lives Matter. Um, Rochester's Rochester, New York, I believe. Am I right? Does that sound about right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, the mayor has suspended has suspended two officers who uh, maced and handcuffed a nine year old girl. Um, the last week has been really crazy with officers abusing uh, young kids. Uh, have y'all seen the video of the one that was trying to um, arrest a black girl and body slammed her and knocked her unconscious? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But did you, did you see the one where the cop tased a young girl? Uh, yeah. She was like 16. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's been a lot going on. So um, were y'all able to catch the Lakers game? Nah. Lakers in Boston? Yeah, well, so now we have a courtside Karen. Well, I guess the husband had some words with LeBron. And LeBron said something back to him. And the wife jumped in and started cussing LeBron out. Hmm. She she said that LeBron said, shut up, B. But whatever happened, they were ejected from the game. So, but LeBron just said that he was glad to see fans back in the stadium. And um, I think he was not bothered at all by it. So, um, Amazon has been ordered to pay $62 million to flex workers um, after um, a federal investigation of wage theft allegations. So... Mm. I wish I was working there. And uh, Jeff Bezos will be stepping down from the CEO of Amazon. Wow. I guess he made I guess he made too much money. (laughs) (laughs) So Yep, so um Salento, y'all remember that um artist uh the Watch Me Work? Watch me whip the Nene guy. Yeah. Well, um, he is in custody, um, being charged with murder. He killed his cousin. They said that he had been dealing with a lot of mental issues, and just of lately, he was arrested for um, domestic violence. Uh, what else? Other things like uh, just irate behavior just doing weird things, but the murder was actually captured on neighbors' um, ring cameras uh, uh, videos. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, the, his his press uh, people are just asking for prayers. So, I guess that's all you can do when they catch you on video. So, um, did y'all hear about the what's his name? Chad Willard? Who played for the Seahawks? No. He had like a uh, a manic episode where he went home and beat up his girlfriend, and he beat her so bad till he thought he killed her. But when she came back um, alert um, from her unconsciousness, he turned. To, he was sitting there eating. He turned to her and said, "Oh, you still alive?" Yeah, so she was able to make it to the bathroom, lock the door, and call the police. Um, 
just so happened he had missed a match and the episode occurred but since then he has been arrested charged and um cut from the cut from the seahawks he just pleaded uh not guilty i don't know why but yeah so they are not releasing the girlfriend's name and the girlfriend is a black a young black girl so but yep I, and i know people like why do that matter it matters so mm-hmm. he's he's six seven 300 pounds and yeah it matters because you ought to see they show pictures of her the way he beat her and it's it's just it was mm-hmm. sad so uh, mm-hmm. method, method man's wife finally spoke out after all these years basically saying that wendy has some kind of obsession with her husband and she just won't leave stuff alone um she made a long statement you can go to her page and check it out but she just wanted everybody to know that wendy williams is the most miserable b word on the planet (laughs) so i believe it i believe it I guess um, Tom Brady has reached his 10th Super Bowl. And this would be a first um, in NFL history that a home team would play the Super Bowl. So, um, my team's not in it. So, I just thought I'd let y'all know. Who's that? None of your business. But Tampa Bay <laughs> <laughs> and Kansas City. Kansas City will play in the Super Bowl this weekend. Who y'all got? Uh, Tampa Bay. The boys. I mean, Tampa, uh, Bay. Mm, Tampa Bay. Okay. Okay. We'll pass on that. So I, I've been, uh, I've been wondering if I wanted to bring this up because it's kids. But considering who it is, I thought it was quite interesting. But Salon's 16-year-old son, Jewels, was dating um, a Disney actor, um, Sky Jackson. And Mm. I guess he found out she was cheating on him and released, he put out a sex video of her. So, yeah, I'm thinking, first of all, I remember when Salon had him. And I'm like, oh, how old is he? He looks like a totally grown man. But people was like, with his grandmother and his aunt, like you would think he would have more respect for women. And wow. her Disney, her Disney career could have possibly been under, you know, fire for for something like that. But she's 18 years old. He's 16. It's not a big difference. But I think uh, I just think that she should be more careful dating mm. babies. So uh. yeah. So the weekend will be uh, performing at the Super Bowl. I think I mentioned this before, but he spent seven million dollars of his own money for his half uh, for his halftime performance. So now I, I must watch. I must watch this. So. Seven million dollars of his own money. Yeah, because they don't get paid to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think they get paid. Nope. Uh-huh. No. Nope. But for it's, it's got to be a catch to it for him to spend all of that money. So, um, mm. Nick Cannon was due to have a his own. A TV show come out this year and it's being they stalling it from what I understand he got a choice to re- release the uh, the Dr. Sebi documentary or do the show mm. and it, it's looking like he more than likely is going to do the show and not release the documentary uh, not because of the threat from the network but because he felt like he didn't make any money off the documentary so he's trying to figure out a way to get paid wow yeah 
And last but not least, um, they said it was a UFO spotting in LA. And they and they showed pictures, and they said that it's the real thing. A UFO. A UFO. Now they, uh, now it's been it's they've been saying it more frequently, but they said that this was like undeniably the a UFO. A oh, UFO. Oh. It, yeah. it don't surprise me the way 2020 has been. It's been like crazy. So we, I mentioned that before. Like that's the only thing that's missing is a UFO, aliens. Well, don't, don't surprise me. I'm, I'm with you now. Like I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, and then people experiment so much, and they try so many crazy things. Like mm. no telling, no, and no telling. But yeah, but everything goes on in LA. Oh wow! I wonder why. I, I wonder why. I finally got to see that salt and pepper. Uh, what did you think about it? I, you know what? I didn't. I was expecting there not to be anything about Spinderella in the movie. The way every way portrayed it, as if they totally dogged her out. What was she right. supposed to like? Was she supposed to have a more? I don't know what they were expecting from her. I mean, I, I, they made it seem like she was not included in it at all, but she was. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, I mean, and like they said, like she even did a song with them. Yeah, you yes. know. Uh, but Cinderella said that she's working on her own tell-all, and she was hurt. And there's just I, I I agree with her that there was no way to tell a salt and pepper story without adding her to it. Mm. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'll check out the Wendy Williams probably uh, next. Make sure you watch the movie. Oh. The movie the, was better than the documentary. Oh, okay. The, oh the, yeah. The movie yeah. is the one that's that was on Lifetime, right? Right. Okay. But uh and what you call it, um Eric B spoke up too. Eric <laughs> B posted some pictures of back in the day of owning a Rolls a Rolls Royce and all of that. Mm-hmm. But they said that he was known to always have had money. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are saying that she told probably like eighty percent of truth in the movie. And the rest was to make the movie be more than what it was. So, oh, so yeah, the relationship in this movie. Uh, that-, that probably was what it was. He didn't deny that, but he 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 didn't use her for no money. He didn't. He said he didn't mess up her credit. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, but uh, Method Man. I don't know, cause during the interview she kept calling Method Man Red Man, so I wonder if she got them confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm for real, like, did she, cause she was doing a lot of cocaine back then, so she might have them confused. <laughs> yeah. Man, Red Man, Method Man, they're all men. It's all the same to her, man. But she need to, <laughs> she need to know which man. <laughs> Right. She was uh, like, it was. A, she said it was only one time. Like, oh, but you still need to know which one it was. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, quite interesting. Uh, yeah, but um, she's all over the internet. She's all on doing interviews and everything. Like, she is. She's basically trying to um, give give the ex husband hell, as she put it. So yeah, uh, he could. Mm. Didn't he get a lot of her money? He got. She pay alimony. Oh yeah, well he yeah. could. She pay alimony. Yep. Kind of yeah. similar to Mary J. Blige's ex husband. These yeah. men. These <laughs> men. My That's... advice: go out and get the Jasmine Sullivan album. Oh, <laughs> It'll make you feel good. Oh, God. <laughs> 